After 47 years, the Voyager probes have sent back data that has put NASA on high alert. A few months ago, astronomers spotted something impossible drifting through our solar system. 3I Atlas, an ancient comet from deep space, is breaking every rule about how these cosmic snowballs work. This 7 billion year old wanderer is bleeding carbon dioxide at eight times the rate of water, displaying backwards jets pointing toward the sun instead of away and showing metal signatures that shouldn't exist in nature. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope captured chemistry so bizarre it sits 4.5 standard deviations beyond normal. But here's what's keeping scientists awake at night. What if this isn't entirely natural at all? The ancient comet that's rewriting everything we know about space. Three months ago, scientists running the ATLAS survey were doing their regular scan of the night sky when they spotted something that would change astronomy forever. What looked like just another fuzzy dot moving against the stars turned out to be 3I Atlas, the third interstellar comet ever discovered entering our solar system. Within weeks, the James Webb Space Telescope locked onto this cosmic wanderer, and what it found sent shockwaves through NASA's mission control. The chemical readings weren't just unusual, they were completely impossible, according to everything we know about how comets work. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph started streaming in data that made every scientist monitoring the feed stop what they were doing. Carbon dioxide was pouring out of this space rock at rates nobody had ever seen before. The telescope measured carbon dioxide emission at 129 kilograms per second, while water vapor was only coming out at 6.6 .6 kilograms per second. When you do that math, you get an 8 to 1 ratio that breaks every rule in the astronomy textbook. Every single comet we've studied in 400 years of space observation shows the exact opposite pattern. Water always dominates the gas emissions from these dirty snowballs. That's what makes a comet a comet in the first place. But 3I Atlas was bleeding carbon dioxide like nothing astronomers had ever encountered, at levels that shouldn't exist in nature. The statistical analysis came back, showing this ratio sits four and a half standard deviations above normal, meaning it's so far outside every known pattern that it basically defies natural explanation. Remember too, I Borisov, the last visitor from outside our solar system that we caught back in 2019? That one had perfectly normal chemistry and looked just like the comets born in our own solar neighborhood. But 3I Atlas came from somewhere completely different, somewhere with formation rules that don't match anything we understand about planetary system chemistry. Multiple telescopes across three continents confirmed the same impossible reading. Webb, Hubble, and ground observatories all saw identical data, making it crystal clear that we're dealing with something unprecedented, the chemistry that shouldn't exist. On August 6, 2025, Webb's NIR spec instrument recorded infrared light from 0.6 to 5.3 micron, capturing the most detailed chemical analysis ever performed on an interstellar visitor. The telescope detected gases swirling in the comet's thin atmosphere, including carbon dioxide, water, carbon monoxide, and countless dust and ice grains. But it was that 8 plus or minus 1 to 1 ratio of carbon dioxide to water that stunned the scientific community. For context, most comets have a carbon dioxide to water ratio of less than one, meaning water completely dominates their chemical makeup. Finding a comet with eight times more carbon dioxide than water is like discovering an ocean made of pure gasoline instead of H2O. It simply doesn't happen in normal comet formation. Carbon dioxide sublimes at much lower temperatures than water, which means it should have boiled away billions of years ago during this object's journey through the frozen depths of interstellar space. The discovery becomes even more mind-bending when you consider where 3I Atlas likely came from. Its hyperbolic orbit confirms it, originated from outside our solar system, possibly from another star system entirely. Computer models suggest it formed much farther from its original star than typical comets, in a region where carbon dioxide ice could condense more efficiently than water ice. This extreme distance from its parent star 
would explain why carbon dioxide became the dominant ice, but it still doesn't explain how the comet retained this volatile gas over billions of years of cosmic wandering. Webb's spectroscopy also revealed something equally puzzling about the comet's behavior. The telescope detected active gas jets that appeared to be oriented toward the sun, which contradicts basic physics about how solar radiation pressure works. Every comet tail you've ever seen in photographs points away from the sun because solar wind and radiation push material outward into space. But 3i Atlas seemed to be doing something completely different, venting material in directions that challenge our fundamental understanding of cometary physics. Early mass loss models based on Webb's data suggest the nucleus measures at least five kilometers in diameter, making it a substantial object capable of sustaining these unusual emission patterns. The telescope's observations before the comet's closest approach to the sun captured only the outer layers of this ancient wanderer, layers that have been fundamentally altered by processes we're just beginning to understand. Seven billion years of cosmic fire. The true age of three, by Atlas remains one of its greatest mysteries, but multiple research teams have attempted to calculate just how long this cosmic wanderer has been traveling through space. While calling it 10 billion years old, or twice the solar system's age, might be speculative, conservative estimates still place it at several billion years old, making it far more ancient than anything else we've studied up close. Our entire solar system formed just 4.6 billion years ago, meaning this object was already drifting through the galaxy before our sun even ignited. Velocity analysis and galactic dynamic studies suggest 3i Atlas originated from the Milky Way's thick disk, a region populated by ancient stars that formed 9 to 13 billion years ago. During what astronomers call cosmic noon, when the universe was only 20 to 30% of its current age, this comet witnessed our galaxy's youth. It likely formed around a star that lived its entire life cycle and died billions of years ago, with its planetary system long since destroyed. But somehow, this comet survived, ejected into interstellar space to wander through era after era. On October 31st, a Belgian research team published a bombshell study that revealed the most shocking aspect of 3i Atlas. Computer simulations combined with Webb's data showed that this ancient object has been bombarded by galactic cosmic radiation for billions of years, and that radiation didn't just touch the surface. It penetrated 50 to 65 feet deep, completely transforming 15 to 20 meters of the comet's outer material, Roma Maggiolo, at the Royal Belgian Institute for Space Aeronomy called this discovery a paradigm shift in our understanding. The outer layers that Webb observed don't represent where this object originally came from anymore. Instead, they represent what the entire galaxy did to it over unimaginable stretches of time. What the telescope detected was only this radiation-processed crust, this fundamentally altered shell that has been cooking in cosmic fire for billions of years. The implications are staggering because it means we're not seeing the comet's original chemistry at all, just the byproducts of eons of cosmic radiation exposure. But here's what nobody is discussing publicly yet. If 20 meters of material got thoroughly transformed by cosmic rays over billions of years, what survived deeper in the protected core? Could there be pristine material down there, original chemistry from a star system that no longer exists anywhere in the galaxy? December 19th might give us the answer as solar heating penetrates deeper into the nucleus, potentially exposing interior layers that have been shielded from cosmic radiation for billions of years. Impossible physics and backward jets. On July 21st, 2025, Hubble Space Telescope captured an image that made senior astronomers question their instruments and double-check their data. The photograph showed a jet of material extending 6,000 kilometers toward the sun, not away from it. This observation contradicts 400 years of established astronomy because solar radiation pressure always pushes cometary material outward into space. It's basic physics taught in every astronomy textbook, yet 3i Atlas appeared to be defying this fundamental principle. August 2nd, 
brought confirmation from the two-meter twin telescope in Spain, which observed the same impossible geometry from a completely different viewing angle. Then Webb's spectroscopy instruments detected enhanced outgassing in the sunward direction, providing multiple lines of evidence that ruled out perspective tricks or optical illusions. The data from different telescopes and viewing angles all confirmed the same thing. Real material was venting in a direction that contradicts basic cometary physics. The Mars orbiters provided even more compelling evidence in early October when 3i Atlas passed within 30 million kilometers of the Red Planet. The European Space Agency's ExoMars and Mars Express both captured the comet from angles completely different from Earth-based telescopes, and they saw the same sunward jet. This ruled out any Earth-specific viewing artifacts and confirmed that we're dealing with genuine physical processes that don't match our current understanding of how comets behave. November 1st brought another shocking announcement when NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory made it official. 3i Atlas was displaying non-gravitational acceleration, meaning it was moving through space in ways that gravity alone could not explain. While outgassing from comets can create thrust, like tiny rocket engines, the math for 3i Atlas completely breaks down under scrutiny. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb calculated that the observed acceleration would require the comet to shed 15% of its total mass, over 5 billion tons of gas and debris ejected into space. When any object vents 5 billion tons of material, it creates an absolutely massive visible cloud that would be unmistakable in telescope observations. This predicted debris field should light up like a beacon across multiple wavelengths of light, yet no such cloud had been definitively observed. The absence of this predicted debris cloud raises profound questions about what mechanism is actually causing the comet's unusual acceleration patterns. This acceleration mystery connects 3i Atlas to Oumuamua, the first confirmed interstellar visitor discovered in 2017. Oumuamua also showed non-gravitational acceleration with no visible outgassing, no atmosphere, and no tail, just unexplained movement through space that forced scientists to propose barely adequate theories involving solar radiation pressure and undetectable hydrogen ice sublimation, the metal problem, and blue fire. On July 20th, the Very Large Telescope in Chile made a detection that initially seemed routine but quickly became deeply troubling. The telescope found nickel vapor in 3i Atlas atmosphere at an emission rate of 4.6 grams per second. Atomic nickel outgassing is standard behavior when a comet's nucleus heats up, so nothing seemed alarming at first. Then the team scanned for iron using the same instruments and found absolutely nothing. Zero iron signature, no iron detected at all. The research team rechecked their instruments, ran different types of spectroscopic analysis, and brought in independent verification from other observatories around the world. Every single measurement produced the same impossible result. Nickel without iron. This discovery sent alarm bells ringing throughout the astronomical community because nickel and iron are cosmic partners that always appear together in natural objects. These two metals form together in the cores of dying stars and condense together when planetary systems take shape. When comets outgas metal vapor, astronomers always detect both elements or neither one two I Borisov showed both nickel and iron in normal proportions. Every single comet from our solar system shows both metals together, but 3i Atlas only produces nickel, violating everything we know about planetary system chemistry. It's like finding table salt, but detecting sodium without any chlorine. The chemistry simply doesn't work that way in natural processes. Some researchers have proposed this anomaly came from an ultra-low metallicity star representing ancient thick disk chemistry that we've never sampled before. But even the most metal-poor stars in the galaxy produce iron because it's one of the most abundant elements forged in stellar cores. The leading theory involves the radiation-processed crust, suggesting that cosmic ray bombardment might have oxidized all the iron into compounds that we can't detect spectroscopically while leaving nickel in detectable atomic form. October 29th brought another impossible observation 
when 3i Atlas reached its closest approach to the Sun. Solar observatories, including Stereo, SOHO, and GO19, captured the comet at peak solar heating, and it was glowing bright blue. Comets don't glow blue. They scatter red light because dust particles in their atmospheres preferentially reflect longer red wavelengths. It's the same physics that makes sunsets red on Earth. Yet 3i Atlas, near its closest solar approach, was blazing blue at brightness levels significantly higher than any model predicted. The brightening curve was scaling at negative 7.5 power of distance, which is steeper than any natural comet produces. Some scientists immediately suggested ionized carbon monoxide as an explanation, since Webb had detected high carbon monoxide content in the comet's atmosphere, and carbon monoxide plus ions do produce strong blue spectral emission lines. But the observed intensity still doesn't match natural emission rates for ionized carbon monoxide. The brightness remains too extreme for conventional explanations. The upcoming observations. Right now, amateur astronomers with 8-inch telescopes are spotting 3i Atlas in pre-dawn skies as a fuzzy greenish patch moving slowly against background stars. That green glow comes from cyanogen gas, one of the organic molecules that Webb detected in the comet's atmosphere. But all of this is just preparation for what happens on December 19, 2025, when 3i Atlas makes its closest approach to the Sun and offers the best visibility for ground and space telescopes. James Webb has observation time locked and loaded for this critical date. Hubble's ultraviolet spectrograph is ready to go. Ground telescopes from Chile to Hawaii to Spain are standing by for what could be the most important cometary observations in human history. Three decisive tests will determine whether we're dealing with extreme natural chemistry or something that forces scientists to completely revise comet formation models. Test 1 focuses on the predicted debris cloud. If Avi Loeb's calculations about mass loss are correct, we should see over 5 billion tons of gas and debris visible and unmistakable in telescope observations. If this cloud is absent or significantly smaller than predicted, then conventional explanations for the comet's acceleration patterns fail completely. Test 2 involves chemical evolution, as solar heating potentially penetrates past the radiation-processed crust to expose pristine interior layers. If we see different carbon dioxide to water ratios from protected core material, it confirms the radiation crust theory. But if the chemistry stays constant at that impossible 8 to 1 ratio all the way through, the mystery only deepens. Test 3 covers the persistence of anomalies that have puzzled astronomers for months. Does the sunward jet continue after closest approach? Does nickel emission persist without corresponding iron? Does the acceleration continue without the required mass loss? Every answer will either confirm current theories about extreme but natural processes or destroy them completely. There's no middle ground in these observations because the physics either works or it doesn't. The December 19th observations represent a once-in-civilization opportunity to study an object that might be carrying samples from 10 billion years ago, original chemistry from a star system that no longer exists. We can't build time machines or travel to the ancient thick disk where this comet formed, but 3i Atlas just delivered that information directly to our most advanced instruments. In March 2026, it passes within 50 million kilometers of Jupiter, giving NASA's Juno probe one final chance for close observations before this ancient wanderer leaves our solar system forever and returns to interstellar darkness. Observatories across the world, including the very large telescope, Keck and Webb, again are expected to collect additional spectra during this critical window. These observations will test whether 3i Atlas is simply an extreme natural object that formed under conditions we've never encountered, or something that forces scientists to refine fundamental models about how comets form and behave. The observation window is closing fast, and we're watching this historic moment unfold in real time as the most chemically bizarre object ever studied makes its closest approach to our instruments. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, 
make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.